quick tutorial from my friend Amy on how to make a spread in Photoshop. Um, first, I open like uh, the pictures the bride picked out for her album. Um, usually, however many spreads she has, or however many pages, say she has 20 pages, I'll say pick out 40 pictures. So these are all the prep pictures this bride wanted. Um, I make them all small so I can uh, look, manage them. Um, like I'll plan these on the same page, maybe these on the same page. And then I need to open my spread from White House Custom Color. Um, White House Custom Color templates. This is the folder they're in. Albums. Uh, satin paper or linen or recycled. I'm going to do a square book. 12 by 12 and then you pick the spread. These covers are different size because um, the more pages you have the thicker the bigger cover you're going to need um, but the the spread is the same for any size book so we're going to open that and this is uh, just the blank spread with the guidelines and then I'm going to make that smaller so I could see my pictures here just drag the picture on and edit free transform and I can hold the shift key down make this picture any size I want so it covers the page hit return on this layer I can change the opacity to fade it if I want and then I could just add pictures on top of it we'll put the dress picture right here edit free transform shift left click drag I'll put that right there hit return not the best layout but just to show you and then um, I can I can oh I can go on this layer and this is another cool thing I can select an area around this picture and you could do view show grid to uh, you know count squares exactly so you have an even border I just uh, left click and dragged so what I'm doing um, I want zero feather I had to do that again okay and I'm, I'm just gonna get rid of the grid so I can see what I'm doing because I can't see through that so I selected this area of my picture layer and I'm going to do image adjustments exposure and I could turn up the gamma for that section. Um, I have to unlock and get rid of my background. Hold on. Uh, how do I get rid of this? I could just delete this layer. Okay, so now I just have... Um, I'm going to turn up the opacity. So I select this area and then I could do image adjustments exposure and I could change the gamma so I have like a faded see-through frame hit OK so I, I let me zoom in so you could see what that did it did this and then I can also add another border on the picture by going to pick the picture layer this picture effects stroke and color I'll just make a black border and I'm gonna go inside instead of outside see I can change that too with the opacity hit OK and then just layer flatten image to save that um, spread is something else.